for something so commonly available, it's really difficult to find a really good cup of espresso. Today we are here with Matt Toogood, who will show us the art of how to brew a perfect cup of espresso. The most important thing about a really good cup of coffee is grinding the coffee fresh. So the coffee should only be ground just before you uh, make the extraction. It doesn't matter if you're using an espresso machine or you're grinding it for a plunger at home or anything. The grinder is the key. Everything's nice and hot in here. See I've got an empty your pack. It's quite dirty and it's got coffee oil and things in there now so we need to make sure that that is perfectly clean before we start so it's nice and nice and clean. And with this grinder, this is a instantaneous grinder so all I have to do is push the grinder in and then it will actually dose the coffee into the water filter. This has been set, it's got a timer on it so it gives a, the same dose every time. Then the next thing is to make the coffee perfectly level. So I'm using a stainless steel temper to level it and then I'm placing pressure under it so the coffee is perfect. Cleaning off the outside, it's working beautifully. What I'm doing is just flushing the group here just to make sure that the temperature is all the way correct all the way through and there's no coffee ground stuck in the top. Turning it on and then my cup's under for extraction. What I'm looking for is a nice creamy texture um, that's not coming out too fast, there's not too many air bubbles in it and uh, the coffee has got a beautiful colour, nice caramel, dark caramel colour. And this will take approximately 25 seconds, this one here I've just got to do it slightly slower. And then we always serve our espressos with a spoon for the people who drink sugar. So we're going to do something that's kind of against my religion. I'm going to make Omar a, uh, an instant coffee and uh, macchiato, which I know he likes. Um, I might get the instant coffee wrong, I'm not very good at it. Now I'm going to make a macchiato. And I'm going to cheat a little bit, I'm going to put a bit of cold milk in, or hot milk in here to try and make the instant coffee taste sort of somewhat like it should do. That's the macchiato, no doubt about that. That was a really perfect cup of coffee. It's very difficult to find one that's this well made anywhere.